This, I don't know about. Danger, internal shafts. Oh yeah, really old magazine. Hey, just be really careful here, guys. Dim the torches. Situation. I'm gonna try and attempt to self-rescue. What do you think? Super, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool, really neat. Have a look. Good evening YouTube and welcome back to Queensland Abandoned Mines, Ebenezer with you as always, we hope everyone's doing really well. If you like tonight's episode, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel, we certainly put in a Herculean effort to get there and present this and edit this for our followers. Tonight's adventure sees us wrap up day one in a tremendous fashion of us exploring a really historic silver mining town just south of Gympie. Now we'll keep this intro short because I do believe tonight's episode is going to be a long one. Please do stay tuned for the end though when we can show you what's still to come this this year on QAM. Enjoy tonight's episode. What goes down there? Not chancy. <laughs> Not chancy. Hey? Because that one looks far. It's quite clear. Yeah, you it's a long way. Um, yeah, it is a long way. You can see where the material under the vein has been dropping down onto the mud below. Come, come here a look. It's a really good shot of the vein there too. It's quite wide. Oh. Right here. Look at it. Train up here, here. Oh yeah. George, we need you to do an oral assay of this. <laughs> no, does it mean I've got my tongue on it? Yeah, possibly. That is lead zinc ore. <laughs> what does that taste like, John? Well, the white, the white stuff would be hydro zincite, wouldn't it? If it's mixed with water, is that correct, John? I think he just makes this up as he goes along. Hydro zincite. <laughs> Good for your bones. I did make that up. Exposed. Yeah, this is all my stuff. Parasomonium chloride. <laughs> oh! Right, stop. So, how do we get back yeah. over these things? The timber. Oh, we've got a magazine. Really old magazine. Hey, just be really careful here, guys. Dim the torches. Oh, no, don't no. don't shine the big bright light into there. That is a mag. What? That's where they would have stored dynamite back in the day. Apparently, dynamite's not as big as you see in like the movies. Oh, I'm pretty sure I can see some cord on the ground. I'm yes. Not, I'm not going. Ah, oh, I'm not going in there. Oh. Oh, yeah, collapsed out. That's the end of the line. What is it? Uh, collapsed out. Can you climb up into it? No. If I say please? And no. It's really dangerous. I want to get a photo of that next time. Oh. Wine pink with the torch. <laughs> Uh, that was really cool. That's the old magazine, badly collapsed stove. Everyone just left me for dead on the aim with a gas meter. Oh, this water's so cold. Back onto the main tunnel and out of the mine.
Oh, it's a little bit of lagging. Oh, the gauge of rail halves. No, oh, it's just going back into that clap state that we just were. I literally could have climbed through, dude, and out this side. So there's no range up to the next level then? Hey? No range up Yeah, there you are. Oh, I was just over there. I can actually see, there you go. That's pretty cool. I can actually see the door on the mag. Ah. Look at that. Where does that ladder go to? Um, a pile of death. I don't even like being in here. So that would have done a little loop. Yeah. yeah. Will this take us up to the next level? It's completely filled, dude. Like with rocks. There's a hole somewhere here that fell down earlier. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't have a hand free at the moment. Turn the light off. Look at that view. Super cool. Oh yeah, I just went down the hole. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah. Nice one, guys. Stuff growing in here. All, all the uh, mines today have had that same look, haven't they? Mm. And look, we're coming out in the mist. That water is so cold, it's actually burning my shins. You can see, guys, what's left of the old portal. You can actually see a... I'll move over so you guys can get out. It's so cold. You actually see a bit of the railway line there. And they would have driven that in to support the post. There's a post on the other side and there would have been a gate in between. Keep the wombats out. Yeah, keep the wombats out. Wim Hof, Dad. Oh man. My feet are in Wim Hof mode. Yeah, my feet are burning. Sweet. Oh, it makes you wonder whether we missed any more of those on the way down. Using your strategy of avoiding anything that looks even half scary. <laughs> really no, that's sick. Alright. Alright, we're going to make our way back to the car and try not to die from exposure. Why do we never look at these first? One out level. Yeah, cross cut, cross cut, cross cut. Yeah, cross cut. Main shaft. So the main shaft might have been on the top and we missed it. Do you remember I said there was a great one of the photos? Oh, yeah. That looks like a big boy, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The size of it, sump. One, two, three, four, five levels. So that's the sump. We definitely saw that. North Drive. I don't know where we just were, though. Number three level. Yeah. I know. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> what I said before we left, I said that we have to be organized so we don't have to do another several return trips. Has it not been a good day? We've spent thousands you, of dollars. Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do the shit one down here. What's that? Hey? What's that? I'm pretty sure aliens exist and live amongst us. I thought that was an alien laboratory. And I can't tell if John's taking the piss or not. He's an honest man, as far That's as I know. I, I look at him and I think, gee whiz, this guy oozes honesty. Look at him. Mm. Looks quite professional. He does look trustworthy. trustworthy. He's got things like that. Yeah. I'd pick him as a juror. Mm. Ebenezer, what are you doing up there? That's like a, the E grade of mines. Mm -hmm. That's like the D or E grade of mines up there. Yeah, I can't get to it. Do you need us to rescue you? Nah. Good, because I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Have you found a viable entrance for us? I could get to it, but it's going to be basically what happened to M times a fish times 50. Can you invent some sort of um, bushcrafted raft? I don't want to go in there, man. Why not? That's a sign of good things to come. You could get some tennis rackets and tie them to your shoes and. Why is no one down here helping me? 
you should uh, get a sample of this, do a toxicological assay right. and maybe a bacteriological assay as well. Alright. All right. Ready? Yep. Can you agitate the sample pit? Yeah. Thank you. Alright. Commencing sample. Do you reckon they'll let us on the plane with this? Yeah, yeah. Sure. All right, sure. Um, hold on. I need a different sampling like this. There we go. That's the good stuff. Mmm. Okay. Pop this in the bag. And uh, do you want to search the upper at it? Yes. All right, you're like a Labrador in there. There isn't meant to be enough. Do a commando roll. Hey? Do a commando roll. <laughs> Uh, it's cooked. Let's go see what's on top of that mallet, okay? Yep, yep. It's basically rust, hey? It's basically rust. We're going to punch further over that way. It's basically just rust, hey? What is AMD? John, that's not cordial! Oh. <laughs> yes, yes. Did you put that in there? Yeah. So, no, we didn't pack that. We collected that earlier. What does it taste like? Salty? Nasty. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. <laughs> from the vegetation mainly. <laughs> Hurry up, Emily. Oh, what? It's just a mag. Oh, what? Yeah, it's just a mag. Is there another one tunnel to our left or right then? Well, where, yeah, the drainage, left or right. Where's followed the drainage? We lost the drainage. This is shit. Whose idea was this? Oh, very swampy. It's getting deep. Oh. Uh, oh, this is not good. This is bad. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> that. I can go back down and follow the orange. But no! Go down the back up. I would rather die than listen to your advice. Oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna climb up here. Oh, it sucked. Hey, bro! Okay. Alright. Hmm. This, I don't know about. Danger, internal shafts, keep out. Um, well, it's swimmable for sure. Oh man. Oh, oh. Shit. Fuck Chansey. MVP. Whoa. 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 Fuck. Situation. I'm going to try and attempt to self rescue. Oh, shit. Yes. I'm sunken. I'm up to my waist. Uh, 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 how do I get out of here? Uh, I'm gonna try and improvise a bridge. Hold on. Uh, it's so deep. What's going on in there? <laughs> I can see it. I can see a tree shaking. <laughs> It could easily go way steep. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he said he already is. He's trying to win the sympathy round. Yeah, yeah, you're trying to win the sympathy vote. Don't you reckon he's just gotten the mind mud and just patted it on himself? Yeah, yes, yeah, to make it look like he's been way steep. Yeah, we don't know. We we can't actually see, dude. We reckon this is like a pantomime. We don't think it's legit. <laughs> oh, I think there's a there's a, a tree that I can climb across. Hold on, I'm going back. <sighs> Unless you have useful suggestions, I don't want to hear from you. I've fallen in to the acid mine drainage. Uh, trying to trying to get away from the acid mine drainage. Uh, it's like a um there's like a, I don't know how to describe it, it's like a swamp of acid mine drainage here. Um 
the ground is just giving away arbitrarily as far as I can tell. Can you call out to me? Yeah. Marco. Oh. Marco. Ah. Marco. Oh, we got someone else on the club. On up to the knees. Up the from the orthopedic assay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's actually pretty bright. You might have been right near the portal. It's really oh, bad. So I walked out onto it. Yeah. And then the ground just gave way. I yep. plunged into it up to my waist. Oh, is it one of those ones? Oh, yeah. so I'm going to have to get naked in the car on the way home. I hope you're unexplorable? Is that it? Uh, you could swim through it. Really? I can see a rail line down there. Cool. Oh, we're getting towards the end of our tether for the day. Yeah. Oh, where does it go? I guess. Good chat, John. Yeah, branches. Okay. John said it's a big quartz reef in there. Yeah. yeah, it looks pretty cool. All right. I just don't want to take you out. Hmm? I just don't want to take you out. Oh, wow. There's like a Neanderthal at it. Pooh. Smells. actually what's that up there John what's that is that like a wombat hole or is there another at it look no, I don't think it is. nothing all right let's watch out holes on the roof going down though where uh, Was there a uh, spider? Spider on my hand. Was there a branch back here? Can you see my torch? If someone comes that way, they'll be able to get down. Yeah. Yeah, it keeps going. Yeah, it keeps going. All right. I guess it's doable, but it's going to be really hard to get back up. You coming through, John? Uh, yeah, I can't All right, mate, I made it all the way through that mess. That was absolutely messed up. I'm down onto the actual bottom of the drive, down on the old railway line. I'm just going to punch in a little bit further, okay? Do you want to stay up there in case this is even more dangerous? Okay, I'll just uh, wait here and stay in comms. You could lose comms otherwise. Yeah, agreed. I'm just down to... Whoa. This is hardcore. I'm on the railway line. I'm on the railway line. This is sick. This is really cool. No footprints in here. Oh, wow. Oh, John, no way. Dude, I think you're going to have to come down. Alrighty guys. This has been 
That's one of the most extreme tunnels I've ever come through. Wow. Look at this old girl. That's pretty special, isn't it? Little jump hole in here. She my gas meter. Oh, no way. Collapse. Oh, that's the end of the line. God damn it. That was so cool. So no one's been through here for at least probably eight or ten years. You wouldn't be able to get past these stalactite things. So check out the rail guys curving around. Boom. Into that grey wacky. That clay matrix. Nasty stuff. You can see how big the mine probably was because we've still got a lot of mine drainage coming out. That is cool. I'll just stick my head in a little bit further and have a look. I've got to. Alright guys, that is the way it has came from. That really cool bend in the rails. Look at that. It actually keeps going. There's an old timber set here. And I'll stick my go pole up. It actually does keep going. But I'm not going in there. Look at that. That is so messed up. I can see some old timbers in there. So I think what we are into is the first cross cut or stope. I think the mine tunnel would have kept punching this way. I can see some daylight through there, but I'm not going through that. Even just this stuff just here is death. I'd say it keeps going that way. That's too dangerous. You've got to know your limit. Look at this big slab that's come down here. Chamber of Doom. All right, I'm gonna get out of this one. I'll get some photos on the way out. That twisted rail looks epic. What do you think? Super, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool, really neat. Have a look. Um, be very careful, don't go past that big boulder. Oh yeah. It's the first cross cut. There's actually a huge, I didn't go in there. There's a huge, there's a huge drive off to the right with a massive timber set. Yeah. And can you see straight ahead it would have kept going? Yeah. See so the caps, the sets. And then to the left there's a, another cross cut. So this would have been a four-way junction straight through, off to the right, off to the left. Can you just light up above me down the drive, John? Yeah, it looks straight up. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, another what? sub level up there. Oh crap. Oh look how much rocks in between those boards. Can you see it? Yeah. They're bowing. Wow. Oh, so there's another added level up the top. Oh wow. I wonder if that's worth looking for. It's been a big day. <laughs> All right. Be really careful through here, John. Oh, crap. You all right, mate? Out that torch is bright. Snake skin puts a bit of a bag. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, here, Junction here. Monkey grip. Go up that way. No, I got you. I got you, mate. Trust me. You alright? You alright? No, you sure? Alright. Just be careful, mate. That. Oh, yeah, that goes back that way, too. Right, yeah, there's probably a lower at it as well. Where your left hand, John, is, that rib is crook, I wouldn't touch it. Yeah. No, that's your right hand, your left hand. Yeah. See how it's all oxidised? Nice, mate. Sensational work. Are you going out the weird way or are you coming out the normal way? I think I'll come out. The way we came in? Yeah, it's just a good spot. Right. Drag this off through. After you, mate. On your no, way, I'll get through and you pass me the torch. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Oh, that was a pretty wild little adventure. <laughs> We're in here for about 45 minutes. John said it punches down that way as well. All right, it's gonna be dark when we get out of here. All right, torch. I 
Oh, you have a bit of hands and knees, doctor. Yeah, jeez. Thanks, mate. Oh, boy. Alrighty, guys. That was a little mighty mouse of a mine. That was a ripper. Uh, I would describe that one as sprightly. That uh, had some cool little chambers in it. I think it was a more modern stope at the start. And then the uh, John Ryan intercepted the old time workings. We were probably in the mountain, probably around about 100 and about 90 meters actually, all the way to where that collapse is. But in a really old mine like that, that took us almost 45 minutes. What we did was pretty dangerous, but a lot of people don't realise around mine sites. Have a look at this. I've got a thousand lumen torch on. It's just going to cast a shadow. Look at that. That's overcut there too, so I'm spanning my feet over it. It's probably only about five or six metres down. But if you fell, your body would twist, you could land on your head. And if you're injured, I don't think you'd ever get back out. So if you know you're around anywhere near old mine sites, be careful with your kids and be very careful where you step. Come check this out, Buck. Look at that. And it goes underneath us. There's this weird little bridge thing here, but I don't want to try that. That timber set there. Cool. Yeah, look, there's a little little rock bridge up the top. Oh, yeah. yeah. I reckon you could definitely fire pull down that tree there. You you could. I've used I've got diabetes, but you could. You could go down it. It's got heaps of moss on it. And <laughs> it does, look... does diabetes preclude you from fire pulling? Only after dark. It's it's, <laughs> it's in our handbook. <laughs> the beers book. The beers. Well, I can't also can't go that far because the ground drops off. that I brushed up before coming home tonight. I only need a shower. My legs are burning with cold. <laughs> this is so bad. Ah. <laughs> Trying to save the rental car, guys. Oh, that concludes day one of QAM's epic winter hike, but do stay tuned. While we were down in this location, we saw a forecast for snow, so you know what that means. Actually, you probably don't. Well, I'll tell you. We all decided to stick to a $100 budget and see if we could camp in the middle of a national park and not die, so stay tuned for that one. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed tonight's content. There's plenty more come on the run to Christmas, as well as share our channel with a friend or family or anyone that likes mining, mining history, or outdoor adventuring. So here's a a couple of clips of what's to come on QAM and we'll see you guys on the next one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this but it's starting to snow. It's really cold. Night everyone. We put sausages out in front of John's thing. He's, he's definitely going to get attacked by the wildlife. <laughs> we just don't know what one. What do you rate this adventure? You must be happy. Out of 10 on the extreme level? Yeah, yeah. Look what's above your head. Oh, wow. <laughs> Chimney pipe. <laughs> Cold war bunker. Yeah, wow. that's, all, that's what we said. Check this out, guys. This is hardcore. Look at the rock sitting on top of these timbers. Something just came through there. That is really messed up.